many of you are probably too young to remember or even know about something I'm going to talk about in a second, or you don't live inside the United States, you may not know about this either. But back from 1946 to 1960, on a Friday night, people gathered around their televisions, most of them black and white in those days, to watch the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports. And in most cases, it was boxing. Every Friday night, you could watch boxing on the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports. In this video, we're gonna have a little bout of our own. We're going to look at the Windows snipping tool that comes free in Windows 10 and 11. And we are going to challenge the paid tool called Snagit. We're going to look at the features of both and we're going to let you decide. You're going to be the judge. You're going to decide which one wins. Is it going to be the free version or is it going to be a paid Snagit version? Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. In the new year 2023, we're going to be putting out tons more videos, and I don't want you to miss any of them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start out in Windows 11, and I'm going to search for the snipping tool. I already had it there. And you can see when it comes up, there's a place where it says new. Now, right at the moment, it's on the full screen mode. So when I click new, what's going to happen is it's actually going to capture both of my screens because I'm running dual monitors. And you can see it's captured both of my screens. If I wanted to save that, I would then go up in the upper right hand corner and click the save. And when I do that, of course, it comes up, where do I want to save it? What do I want to name it? And I would name it something and save it. I could change the name and then save it. And you can see beside the new menu item, there is the mode. I have rectangular mode, window mode, full screen mode, or free form. The way I captured my two monitors was to use the full screen mode. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, my website and we're going to try a different mode. I've now switched to the rectangular mode and I can just capture a portion of the screen. And before I demonstrate any of the changes, I'm going to again save it. So I click the save, I give it a name, and then I'm going to save it before I make any other changes. Up at the top, we have a bunch of options. Here I can pick a color and a size for a pen, and I can circle things. I can go back and change colors again. I can change the size. And you can see that I'm basically painting um, on what I've captured. Now we have a highlighter. If I want to highlight again, I have some colors I can choose and I have the thickness of my highlighting. So I pick what I want to do. In this case, I'm going to pick red, orange, and as you can see, I can highlight things that are on there. Again, I could change colors. I can change thickness. Now, if I want to erase something, I can erase all the ink by clicking that. I also have a ruler I can add. And because I'm using a touch screen, I could use touch writing if I wanted to. And to the right of the touch writing, I can hit crop. And now I can crop my capture. Once I get my crop, I just hit apply. Now I can also zoom and again, I can hit apply. On the right hand side, I can copy, I can send it, I can send feedback, I can check my settings, I can print it. And here are some settings. 
I can automatically copy to the clipboard. I can do a variety of different things in my settings, as you can see. Under Apply Theme, I can use Light, Dark, or I'll use whatever the system is. If my system settings are set to a light appearance, that's what it'll be. If it's dark, it'll be dark. All right, again, going back up to the mode, as you can see, we used the full screen in the rectangular. We also have a window mode where you can just capture the window. And we also have a freeform mode. Beside that, we have a timing, no delay, a three second, five, whatever, if we want to delay something. For my example, I'm going to delay five seconds so that I can bring this menu up and capture the menu. I was in window mode, so it captured the entire window. Now I can go ahead and crop so that I have just the menu, which is what I wanted. And again, I'm going to save it. All right, that's it for the free snipping tool that comes in Windows 10 and 11. Now let's look at the tool that I like to use. It's not free, but it's priced very well. And I like it. It has a lot of the features of the snipping tool, but a lot more. I've got the window up. And what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and again, it has options right on the face. I can do time delay. I can capture the cursor. I can copy to the clipboard. I can preview in the editor. Under the selection, I can decide what I want to capture. Okay, again, a region, a window, a full screen. I can even capture a scrolling window. I can do panoramic. I can grab text and under advanced, you can see the different things I can do. I could just capture an object if I wanted to. I'm going to capture the full screen and that should look familiar because those are my two monitors. And now I have them in the Snagit editor. Up top, you can see right off the bat, there are a lot more icons. I can use arrows and put arrows in if I want. And when I choose that over in the right, I can choose what arrow I want, a solid arrow, a color, uh, whatever I want to do. And as you can see, I put a very thin arrow there, but now I'm going to make it a different kind. You can see all the changes I can make. Again, I can change colors, I can change type, whatever I want to do. Now, going back up to the top, I could add text. So I've pressed to add text. Let's add some text. I can move it around. I can do whatever I want with it. And now I can add a shape. In this case, I can make it look like the animal is talking and I could type my text in there, growl. And again, I can take other shapes and do different things with them, whatever I want to do. I can change thickness, color, all these great things. Now I can even dump color in if I want to change colors. There are just a ton of things I can do here. I love it. And guess what? Up at the top, it seems like there's already a lot of icons. But if I click on the more portion of the menu, Look what happens. Look at all of the options I have. I can crop, I can do magic wand, I can cut out. I mean, there's just all kinds of things I can do. I can add numbers. I could add letters. In this case, I'm numbering different things that I want to show. And in a text, I could mention those and refer to them. There's just all kinds kinds of stuff you can do. Now, this video is not really a how-to video for Snagit. This is just to introduce you to some of the different options. The best thing you can do is get Snagit and start playing with it. You can see on the screen all of the different changes that I'm making and that I can try. I can capture video. I can add my webcam you can kind of see down in the lower right hand corner. There's all kinds of things I can do with Snagit. Again, 
This video is not a how-to for Snagit. It's actually not a how-to for the snipping tool. It's just to show you a little bit of each of them and let you see which has the options you can use. Snagit has a ton of options and I have a link down in the description if you want to give Snagit a try or just buy it outright. It's a great tool. I've used it for years and I love it. That's it for this video. Have you made up your mind? Have you decided who is one? Is it the free snipping tool in Windows or is it the paid Snagit tool? Whatever you decide, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you for our next video.